As we mark July 4th this week, it seems like a good time to revisit a story we first shared 17 years ago. A story about an artist who's dedicated her career to honoring the men and women who've given their lives for our country. Well, now there's an update so impressive it may be hard to believe. But first, here's her story. Bad news rolled into North Home, Minnesota on November 17, 2003. It stopped for directions at the post office, headed east out of town past the high school, and then bad news turned in the driveway of Arland and Karen Panshot. I seen the two, two soldiers there, and I, I knew what, what had happened. Arland and Karen both knew, yeah. left to tell were the details of how their son Dale had died in Iraq. The Bradley fighting vehicle he was riding in, the hit from the rocket-propelled grenade. Our son was the third, third soldier killed from Minnesota. And now, three years later, the same rural roads that carried bad news to North Home, in a sense, are bringing Dale Panshot back home. It's gonna be a surprise when that uh, truck pulls up. Eyes would be wider still if they could back up the truck two weeks and somehow see the woman delivering their son. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Kaziah cooks. She starts cranking. She cooks. Colorful as the palette she paints for her, Kaziah Hancock shares a ranch with a hundred goats <laughs> at the base of a mountain in Utah. I don't know how political I am. I don't get into all that crap. I just love freedom, okay? Here, 1,200 miles from North Home, Kaziah is enjoying the company of Staff Sergeant Panshot. What a sweet guy. I believe he is a guy that would give the shirt off of his back. I really like that one. Kaziah should know as an artist with a flair now for giving. Now that I can dance. It started three years ago when a tearful Kaziah painted a portrait of Utah's first fallen soldier, then kept going. I so appreciate good guys. 50, then 100. Now nearly 250 service men and women from nearly every state brought back to life on canvas in Kaziah's bedroom studio. At least it's a way to say, hey, I love you, kiddo. So that you may never be forgotten. And when their time at the ranch is through, Kaziah Hancock sends them home. Painted, framed, packed, and shipped. Okay, sweetie. You get to go home to Mama. And Kaziah will accept not one cent from a soldier's family. Dear Noel's family, I picked this one because this shows such a wonderful personality. There is a face anyone could love. Love, Kaziah. Okay. There's definitely a lot of love going in that box, too. Kaziah can't begin to estimate the income she has forfeited. That's this one. Painting sons and daughters. Beautiful, fun lady. Instead of the landscapes and portraits she normally sells for thousands of dollars. Given James Coburn. Yet all Kaziah has to do said, is read her mail. Like Given is still right here watching over me and my family. And her inner banker goes on permanent Memorial Day. So I just love him. It's okay. And, and it's not this big goddamn sacrifice, and it's not this pain and misery that I have to go through. Hell, I'm not in, in misery. I'm, I'm working for a friend. They're, they're my buddies. We got a good thing going. This is a partnership. This is a team. Tough as a sailor, tender as a mom. though long ago a bout with ovarian cancer left Kaziah unable to have children of her own. His last name, Panshot. Minnesota's Dale Panshot mm -hmm. is just her latest adopted son. That is not half bad. A relationship that will leave her both happier and sad. Because he just should have been a daddy. He should have been a husband until he's 80 years old. That would have been good. I would have so loved not to have painted him. Kaziah figured out years ago that an artist can do little to stop a war. Her gift would be the deliveries to 
of the people left to battle at home. Wait a minute. Can I see it? <laughs> oh. oh, that is awesome. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Arland and Karen Panshot <laughs> have never met Kazaya. Well, I'm just going to see what it'll look like. Up there. Probably just, never will. May you feel your son's love every day. God bless you. Love, Kasaya. But two parents who can't pull their eyes off the image of their son. She even got his is proof. Crooked tooth in there a little bit. Uh huh. Yep. A hug can extend from Utah all the way to the land of ten thousand stories. He's here, you know, and that's that's important to me. Kindness is a virtue, <laughs> but on a ranch in Utah, compassion is an art. There is nothing I'll ever paint that'll be more appreciated than that. Just an incredible gift. Well, 17 years after that story first aired, Kazaya is still painting. Here she is working on another portrait in May. 17 years ago, Kazaya had painted 250 servicemen and women. The total now stands at more than 2,800. And that now includes police officers and firefighters who have died in the line of duty, all delivered free of charge to their families. Kaziah does not take does take donations, though, to help cover her expenses. So you'll find her address along with this story at care11.com.